and welcome to our Smith Bearing Training and Educational Series. This is episode number three. Today we're going to talk about metric product and the metric product that we offer. We offer a, a single row needle full complement series. We also offer a caged version as well too. Why we go from a full complement to a cage? Full complement always usually handles more load. When you add a cage into the, into the application, you're usually looking for higher speeds. Also, the cage retains more lubrication as well. We offer uh, the MUTD version and we offer the NUKR version. The MUTD version is a yoke style and the NUKR is a studded version. We also offer what is called the PWKR and the PWTR. Now, you're gonna look at these bearings and you're gonna go, what's different about these bearings, okay? And it's basically how the internal rollers are installed. So the PWKR bearing has a little larger gap in between the rollers inside the assembly. That'll get you a little more thrust loading and a little more side loading, all right? Um, we also offer a version what we call our LR series. We do it in the LFR series and we also do it in the LR series. And as you can see, the LFR has a, uh, a groove in the middle of it and the LRs have a straight outer race. We also do our track rollers in metric and in inch series. Um, metric, um, the yoke style and the studded style. We offer our profile rail that we've talked about in the past. Uh, we always recommend using a good rail to run your bearings on. Light heat treated outers. We do our plane in metric. We do our V groove in metric. We, we do our bottom mounts in metric. We do our plane in bottom in metrics. We also offer shafting as well. Something that I've talked about before about the whole, uh, the whole thing. We want you to buy a bearing but we also want you to buy our stud that goes through the bore of the bearing. Uh, we want you to buy our rail the bearing rides on. So thank you for tuning in. Join us next time for more Smith Bearing information.